This local sports report is presented by the Guelph Minor Football Association, proudly developing players in Guelph for community high school and youth sports football for over 25 years. Learn more about their tackle and flag programs by visiting guelphminorfootball.net. Friday Night Lights at Alumni Stadium in Guelph. This is the District 10 semifinal matchup between the Bishop McDonnell Celtics and the St. James Lions. The Lions able to come in on top over the Celtics during the regular season, looking to repeat that result and move on to the championship. The Celtics only dropping a single game all season, looking to show up tonight with a championship berth on the line. Jumping into the action and it was all Celtics early in this one. This is Marco Piccioni on the carry for BMAC. He's good for a first down and then some, and BMAC would move into the red zone. And here in the red zone, the Celtics would give it back to Piccioni. He barrels over the line, and it's 7-0 BMAC early in this one. Minutes later, now the Celtics back with the ball and they go to the air. Alex Iacocca lobs one over top. Philip Oates in on the reception, and the Celtics would move downfield once again. Into the second quarter now, more from BMAC. Alex Iacocca completes to Finley Carney in the red zone, and the Celtics look to punch another in. And here in the red zone, it's Alex Iacocca launching a pass into the end zone, and Sam Schoeniker getting under it for the touchdown. So it's 14-0 BMAC midway through the second quarter. The Lions with the ball now needing to change the momentum, and they go deep. Caden Henry launches a ball to the near wing. Peyton Cummings makes the catch. Peyton's got a step on the defense, and he won't be stopped. What a play from St. James as they answer right back, and we've got a 14-7 game. The Celtics with the ball now, but it's more from the Lions. Lamalachi Benin intercepts the ball. It's St. James coming alive in the second quarter, and they'd force the safety, so it's 14-9 BMAC. Later in the quarter, now the Lions going deep once again. Peyton Cummings in on another reception, and St. James would move downfield. The BMAC defense would hold, however, and here they are in the last play of the half. Lamalachi Benin reads the play, and Lamalachi, why don't you score a pick six? What a quarter from Lamalachi Benin as he comes up clutch for the Lions, and it's 16 14 St. James heading to the half. On the other side of the half now, and here come the Celtics. Alex Iacocca completes to Philip Oates downfield, and the Celtics would convert on a first down. And here on the next play, they go to the air once again. Sam Schoeniker gets behind the defense and brings it down on the seven yard line, and the Celtics would look to retake the lead. The Celtics in the red zone now, and it's a short pass to Ryan Wolf, and Wolfie's in there for the go ahead touchdown. And it's 21 16 BMAC. 21 16 BMAC, and how about some Celtics defense? Ethan Malone smacks down the pass, and the Celtics would turn the ball over. And here with the ball, here comes Marco Piccioni. He takes the handoff and trucks into the Lions. It's a big hit from Marco and he keeps moving. And Pachoni was just getting started. Here on the next play and it's another big run from Marco. He's running over Lions and barreling downfield. And the Celtics would move in the red zone. Here in the red zone now and it's another run from Pachoni. He just won't be stopped. It's the end zone for Marco. What a shift from Pachoni. And the Celtics take a commanding 28-16 lead. Into the fourth quarter now, 29-16 Mac after a rouge. The Lions back with the ball looking to spark another comeback. It's Caden Henry spotting out Peyton Cummings in the middle. And Peyton's good for a Lions first down. And minutes after that, it's Henry going deep once again. He completes to Evan Nikolosovic on the far wing. And the Lions look to battle back. The Lions on third down now needing a first to stay in it. And it's clutch from Caden Henry. He completes to Kalen Robertson. And Kalen brings the Lions to first and goal. The Celtics defense holding strong, however, and here on third down, it's Lucas DeLello intercepting the ball. It's a huge pick from Lucas. The Celtics turn the ball over, and BMAC will look to ride this one out. Time running out for St. James. The Lions needing a miracle, and they go deep with a Hail Mary. It's June Kim in on the interception, and the Bishop Mac Celtics are going to the championship. So a great game in the semifinals, and in the end, it's the Bishop Mac to now Celtics running over the Lions in the third quarter and taking the win. The Celtics move on to play the Centennial Spartans next week in the championship. Big halftime speech. We kind of told the boys that uh, it's just a 2-0 game. It's a hockey game at that point. And uh, we weren't down much. And we treat every half like it's a, like it's a new game. And we just bounced back. We knew we knew what they were going to do. We knew how they be, they beat us. Same situation as the last game. A couple deep balls on us. A couple, couple young guys back there. But uh, we fixed it up. A lot of guys stepped up to the plate today.